morning, friends and cruisers. What a day it is. Uh, nice and uh, warm day. It's uh, Friday, August, oh, I am dropping stuff. It's Friday, August 30th, and uh, we're a couple days away from Hurricane Dorian coming down on us. Um, some of you guys might know we live in Central Florida, so we're, uh, we're expecting a, a nice rainy and windy week next week, supposedly for the next six days from what they uh, were saying this morning. Uh, I think it's going to be a lot of rain, uh, probably mostly rain and some wind. Uh, I'm mildly concerned. I've been, you know, I've been here for a long time. I've been through lots of storms and, uh, you know, but uh, I think this would kind of be our first like home vlog. Uh, I always enjoy the vlogs from a lot of our friends on uh, YouTube that do the uh, vlog their, their weeks and their days and all that. I don't think I would do it every week, but maybe a monthly would be kind of fun just to, you know, update what we're doing through the month and what's going on, especially since we have some cruises coming up and some other stuff. Uh, I thought it'd be fun to kind of document our uh, hurricane journey over the next few days, so maybe there'll be a couple more videos here. Um, like I said, today's Friday. Um, I'm here. Alexis is here, Maria's at work. Uh, I'm just going to start uh, cleaning uh, the outside, picking up stuff. Um, I did the yard yesterday as far as like, you, you know, mowing the grass and all that. Um, just to get that done. So today I gotta take in all the stuff, all the, the patio furniture, pots, plants, decorations, all that stuff bring it into the garage so that stuff doesn't turn into uh, flying missiles. Uh, that's, that's actually kind of most of the major hurricane preparations as far as uh, the house goes. I need to clean out this part of the garage uh, so I can pull in Maria's car. Uh, my car doesn't matter, it's old. Uh, hers is new so I want to make sure I can get that out of the, the, the wind and stuff. Um, usually I keep my garage pretty clean, but I was actually kind of in the middle of uh, doing a bigger overall clean and, and, and rearranging a lot of the stuff in it, so it's kind of a, a little disorganized mess, so it, kind of bad timing for a hurricane to come that I need to get everything cleaned out and make room for all the stuff I need to put in, but we don't have a whole lot of stuff outside, uh, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Um, let's see. I got, uh, I went to the store yesterday, Thursday, to get a couple of cases of water, um, just some miscellaneous food. We don't go too crazy with it. You know, other hurricanes, if people are out there buying eight, nine, ten plus cases of bottled of water, you're never going to use it. And then they all just return it to the store and the store ends up throwing it away because they can't sell, you know, return water here. So we get a couple cases, because we use it anyways. We go through a bottle of water and just some other, some canned goods, and we have stuff we kept stored anyways. But we don't go too crazy. It's uh, you know, it's not like we'll be out of food for weeks, even if it's a pretty bad store. It's just, it doesn't happen. Um, but yeah, the stores were crazy. The stores yesterday were absolutely crazy. Uh, a lot of the gas stations ran out. I had to go to Publix, which is our group, uh, which is our, the grocery store in Florida, south. Uh, I had to go back a couple times. They finally had water, so I grabbed a couple cases and stuff. Um, uh, they refill them a lot. The gas stations I heard, I heard this morning are, are uh, full again, but I'm sure they'll be out by the by the afternoon. But people just get crazy and, in all honesty, really stupid around this time. So try not to go out unless you absolutely have to. Just because it, it's just it's just insane. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna I think I'm gonna start cleaning up the garage. I need to clean. I need to also clean up the inside a little bit and start charging stuff like the batteries. Uh, I'll show you that later. I need to charge the drone up so I can take uh, take the drone up and get a good uh, aerial uh, record of the house. 
um, it's good because after the storm, we'll take it up and check for uh, any roof damage. You know, last time when Irma came through, I took it up and and you can see all the shingles we had missing. That it wasn't too bad. Our roof holds up pretty well, surprisingly. Hopefully, it still will. That's really the only thing we worry about. Our house is, is cement block, so the roof is the only thing that I kind of worry about because roofs are not cheap. And insurance is. But yeah, so I'm going to clean up the garage first and make room for stuff. And then we'll take you to the backyard with me. And I think I'm just going to throw. Here, let's see. I'll probably just take my little yard uh, cart there, which is a great investment for, I think it was 60, 70 bucks. And uh, just throw a lot of the stuff in it and just roll into the garage and just keep it in there and when the storm's over I'll just roll it back out there and put it back but yeah so that's our uh it's gonna be my uh my chores for the morning so I'm just gonna start cleaning this up and then when I head to the back we'll uh we'll come back all right see you in a few all right garage is cleaned well it's cleaned up to acceptable to me <sighs> Just pushed, pretty much pushed everything. There's enough room there for her car on that side of the garage. And this side, I'll just put the patio furniture and, and uh, all that good stuff. And I just clean and swept up a little bit. Oh, there's, I, I, I need to do a big cleaning in here, but that's, that's for another day. I also picked up another uh, Wise Cam. These are great cams for 20, 25 bucks, depending on where you get them. Uh, you can get them at Home Depot. And uh, I have several different types of cameras around the house for security, but that's an extra one I have. And I'm going to, uh, these are cool because they can do time lapses. So I'm going to stick one. They're not rated for outdoor, but most people don't have a problem with it. But I think I'm just going to build a, a quick little um, uh, waterproof enclosure with, with some of the, some wood I have and stick it out front and kind of aim it towards the sky I think and see if I can get a, a time lapse of the storms coming through and and all that uh, we'll see all right so now we got this done it, it is hot out here or humid at least there's just no wind blowing it's just hot I'm, I'm sweating I've, I've really just moved stuff back and forth so uh, right now I'm going to take my little gorilla cart and head to the backyard and start that project. All right, let's go. All right, made it to the backyard. I mean, it's not like we have huge property here, but all right. So it's just stuff like that. The, the plastic chairs there, the little lights we have, the bird feeder, you know, pots, this little furniture here. Uh, probably gonna leave these out here because they're fairly heavy uh, and they're really just a pain to move all the way to the front so I think they'll be okay I got other lights around um, just some of the decorations that that are not really screwed down these lights should be fine they're hooked in and I'll probably leave that there because that thing's pretty heavy too and if need be I can just quickly bring it in if it starts to like you know move um, but yeah, that's, like I said, I mowed the lawn yesterday, picked everything up. I got my, uh, made sure all the cameras were set up good. Those are just my normal security cameras, but last time Irma came through, we heard stuff and saw stuff blowing through. So at least this time I can get a better, I didn't have all, I didn't have as many cameras back then. So this time I can at least get a good, uh, a view of the surrounding house just to keep an eye on what's going on at least for at least for some time so yeah we don't want our little cool little anchors and little little decor stuff to blow away so I just built this porch this year or I me mean my dad did earlier this year uh, so it's actually be the first storm that's going through that's a little nerve-wracking but we built it pretty good it's, it's concreted in uh, but yeah another shout out here to my cart these things I, I bought this cart when we were building this because I had to bring all this stone 
uh, dirt, all the materials yeah. to take it from the house. It just would have, yeah, it would have been a pain. So I, that was like 60, 70 bucks, I think. You can get them at uh, Home Depot or Lowe's. I'll, I'll put a link down there for them. Uh, just really handy to have if you got to move stuff back and forth. So yeah, we got the old boots on because it's wet. It's been raining in our yards. The drainage here sucks really bad. So much so we have meetings with lawyers that we're going to probably sue the home builders. But I'll show you once the storm passes, you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. But yeah, so for now, I'm just going to start picking this stuff up and moving it into the garage. because I was picking I was picking the stuff up and just didn't see him just start him. Alright, move. There he goes. They don't even move. Lift them up. Everything in my cart here it actually smells good because all that basil it doesn't look that great, but it smells pretty good. I'm just gonna leave everything in the cart, and when the storm's over, I'm just gonna roll it back out here and put everything back up. So I just need to take that furniture in. I don't think it's really gonna fit. Yeah, you know, I'll just walk it in. Just those, those. There's nothing over in that tree. I cut these trees. I trimmed these up a couple weeks ago. Just because they needed it, not really anticipating a storm or anything. So, um, those should be pretty good. I think they're pretty strong. I'm not really worried about them. They're not that tall, so even if they were to fall, it's not really too much. But yeah, so not bad. Fire pit. We have not, I built this fire pit when I built the porch, and we haven't even used it yet because it's like so hot in Florida. We're waiting for some nice fall weather to to uh, hit the first fire on that. Yeah, so I guess I'll get all this up and just wash the porch off, just kind of get it clean. 
And uh, that's really it for, for most of the yard, or the backyard. I got some stuff in the front I need to put up too, but yeah, not, not too little. I got some limes coming in. All right, so yeah, that's that's pretty much the clean up here. I'm gonna move this stuff inside the garage and uh, I think we'll then hit the front. So hold on, we'll be back in a few. Let me get this stuff in. All right, I'm back and as you can see, I'm a lot more sweaty. It is just, it's gotten really hot. I said, let me get up early and do this stuff before it gets too hot. I don't know, I don't know if that was the greatest idea, but I guess the rest of the day I'll sit in the AC, so. So, honey is the kid, the battery, uh, the battery quit when I was back there, so I don't know if you missed out on anything that I was talking about or showing in the backyard. Um, I think I got it right before it went completely. Uh, so, I just got the rest of the stuff uh, from the backyard, brought it back in here, and washed, uh, just kind of cleaned up the, the back porch, uh, washed it off, blew it off and all that. So the backyard, I think, is is uh, pretty good for now. Uh, just a few things. Let me take a little walk here. I got a garbage can on the side for the yard waste that I'll probably bring in. I usually bring in all the cans, but it really stinks up the garage for like two weeks. And it, uh, So what I think I might do is, because they'll be kind of full and heavy, I think I'm just going to gently block them in with the car in the garage so they really won't go anywhere and again if it seems like it's going to I'll just open a garage and throw them in but I'd rather not it just really kind of stinks up the garage um, yeah not much else over there I gotta pick that up uh, the hose is fine uh, let's see okay just get this stuff these lights I need to pick up the signs my little alligator I got another light over there um, that is super heavy. That's pretty heavy, so I'll probably just leave that. I'll take the other ones in. Uh, I should take that in, but it's also part of my uh, power outside, so I need to think of uh, my no soliciting sign. Take that in. Let's see, cameras are up. Uh, that's the thing. If you watch our vlogs, I hope you watch our vlogs, our cruise vlogs. That's the uh, that's the little thing we got in. Uh, San Juan last time that they uh, customized for it. You can see our name on it. Uh, cool little shop by uh, Fortaleza Street. Almost like right on the corner over there. Um, so yeah, go back and watch that vlog. I'll put a card or something in. Uh, check that one out. So yeah, just a few things here. <sighs> the issue I'm worried about is when Irma came through, and if you hear me talk about Irma a few times, that's the last big storm we had two two three years ago I don't even remember at this point anyway, something like that water because the rain was just like horizontal so all the rain was just it was another one I kind of expected the same it's just gonna be a lot of rain a lot of wind so the wind was just blowing all the rain into the door and at the time the door seal was bad so the rain was just coming down and going inside and it was like two in the morning I just walked I walked over here to open the door just to check out and I just stood in a puddle and it ruined some of our floor in there. And again, just within the last few weeks, the, uh, you can see right there in the middle, the um, seal started cracking again, which takes me off because I just replaced it not even a year ago. And it's not the easiest thing to replace, at least on this door. It's cheap, but it's, it's just kind of a pain. So I have a couple sandbags I got last time that I did save from Irma that that night I kind of blocked right here so I'll probably do that again just as a precaution I don't know I'll look on Home Depot online and see if they have another uh, door seal in stock maybe I don't know I I don't know so yeah so anyways like I said I'm also going to put that wise camera somewhere around here so I can get a, a shot of the sky or something see the clouds storm rolling in so yeah so that's, that's probably going to wrap up most of the outside stuff. I got junk to do inside. Um, just, you know, cleaning up. We've got to clean the house too, so I'll probably have people over. Um, but I just want to kind of take care of all the outside stuff today. So I don't have to worry about it. Because 
supposedly Sunday night is when it's all going to start. Who knows? It can change. But yeah, so the outside should be done. Then we can work on the inside and just get the house cleaned and it's a little bit organized. But so I guess the being out in the sun and all the hard stuff is pretty much done. So I'm just going to do those few little things we, I talked about a minute ago and then uh, head inside and uh, I'll see you in there. Hello again. I am uh, inside in the AC. It got really, really hot outside. Got really humid. No, no wind moving or nothing. Uh, I didn't get a chance to do the front yet because it started to rain. Nothing storm related, just a uh, normal Florida shower. So I'm just sitting here with, uh, hey, how are you? I'm just sitting here with Lazy. He's not doing nothing. So we're just, we're just hanging out. Um, just charging up. Uh, some of the battery packs I have. I uh, I always talk about how great they are for cruises, which they are, but they're also great for situations like this where you might have not have power for a couple days. It'll keep, I have some big ones like these. Oh, well, that's no good. These RAV power ones are real good. I have a couple of these. They can charge two devices at a time. Uh, and you can get several charges for a phone or a tablet out of it um, on one charge, so. And they're, yeah, they're about 30-ish bucks. Uh, so they're always good to have. Like I said, they're also great for cruising. So yeah, like I said, I'm just waiting for the rain to stop and I'll finish up the little stuff outside. I was just uh, cleaning up my uh, desk in here. A little mess it is. And um, something I did forget is to make sure that uh, things are backed up, especially pictures and important documents that I have on my computer my main computer here, make sure that I back them up. I have a, uh, this is a, uh, a network drive and it's like fireproof, waterproof, all that stuff proof. So, um, I'm just making sure everything's backed up to that. And I also back stuff up to the, the cloud. So nothing is actually on site and just important stuff, important documents, especially pictures. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to make sure that stuff's done and that's kind of it. I think we're going to try to head to the grocery store again later and get the last few, uh, well actually more of just a regular weekly shopping trip just to get some, uh, food for dinners for the next couple of days and a few more things that I didn't, that we didn't grab yesterday. Yeah, so that's about it. I don't know how long this vlog ended up being, but it's kind of fun to do. And like I said, maybe I'll start doing more of these and... I'll definitely do more during the storm and show you how we're doing and show you how the storm progresses here in central Florida. I uh, I just uh, I was watching uh, social media here and now they say, I said before it's supposed to hit a Sunday. Now they're saying Monday and now I just saw something else that says Tuesday. So, so I guess the storm has slowed down. So who knows when it will actually be here. So... I guess waiting is uh, just hoping to just come Sunday and get it over with to deal with it. But I guess we'll have to wait longer. So we'll see. Who knows what will happen. But yeah, thanks for uh, watching. I uh, also wanted to say thanks recently for all the support from our friends on our uh, recent name change. Uh, the support from everybody uh, has been great. I know a lot of you put Facebook posts up uh, letting your viewers and your uh, community know that we changed the name from the, the Lido Life over to Scott's on Deck. Um, I probably should do a separate video and put on our channel, but it's just, it's crazy now. But yeah, so anyways, thanks for all the support and thanks for hanging out in this vlog and we'll uh, see you through the storm. Thanks.